Abel, and then, and then Glenn, please. One of my concerns in coming here tonight was precisely that my voice, as a black female voice, would be overshadowed by homosocial bonding. <laughs> among the men here, and one of the things that Eugene evoked was women and children. And it seems to me that, that in part, part of why I, I wish to see a greater voice from radical black women intellectuals is that I think many of us experience our intellectuality, our stardom, uh, our what have you very differently. And that, there, that as, as I listen, I mean, I, I feel more and more divorced from this discussion precisely because my sense of being an intellectual first comes out of being nurtured by black women in black institutions, the church, the school. We have something to learn from many voiceless black women